is now announcing it's finally eliminated a years long backlog of DNA testing for sexual assault kits. ABC 4's Jared Giacinini, they're live at the state crime lab in Taylorsville with more on what this milestone means for rape survivors. Jared. Well, Brian, it means a lot. The state just announced about a couple hours ago that it is now the eighth state in the country to clear its sexual assault backlog. To finally clear off a backlog that you've heard so much about, not just here in Utah, but what is what is plaguing the United States. And since 2015, have processed 11,193 sex assault kits. Of those, of those results, we have been able to upload 5,025 into our DNA profile database. And as you can see, that just under 2,000 suspects have been identified because of that effort. As of today, the Utah Public Safety Office is all caught up. Now, a bill was passed back in 2017, so this has been a two-year-long process in the making. It's opened up some resources to help the state process its backlog. What used to take about two years to process kits now takes 90 days. Officials say the goal is to process kits in 30 days or less. Information from rape kits can help bring criminals to justice and give survivors some peace of mind that their attackers will face a fair day in court. Utah State Representative Angela Romero has been at the forefront of this initiative. And we had to bring a voice to survivors of sexual assault. In many cases, maybe their perpetrator won't be caught, but at least we know their DNA is in CODIS and that if they do it again and they're caught, we can catch them. I can truthfully tell them this will be submitted and this will be tested. Not only that, I can give them a card where they can track their information about their rape kit. Now, the state, le the state legislature gave DPS $1.6 million in additional funding in the hopes that the state never becomes backlogged again. Reporting live, Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Jared. And new at 11.